I guess your experience of being interviewed sudah banyak lah kan? Sudah ada sikit lah. <laughs> yes. I doubt that. Over the years lah. <laughs> uh, you have the print interviews. You have I I've done I've done two travel logs shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, two travel logs. Not on yet, right? Uh, not not yet, I guess. One is uh, based in my home con- uh, town, Penang. Oh. So they just I, I just bring them around, makan makan, and show the host lah, makan makan, and after that uh, talk about what I do, and then I share a bit what I do and my jewelry. Then they feature a bit, uh, macam tu lah. What I love about Chandakan is it kind of feels like Georgetown. You think? Yeah, some parts in the old town, hmm. it feels like Georgetown. Ah. Yeah. But now, now it's different. Hmm. Uh, Georgetown looks different. Sandakan looks different, and the vibe is a bit strange. But last time I I love um, because of development. Ah, okay. Uh, everything is is more up to date. Hmm. Uh, a lot more people, obviously. Um, a lot more culture, I guess. I guess that's a good that's a good thing. Mm. But what is saddening is people don't see architectural design the the old ones mm. as something that needs to be preserved. Mm. Now we 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 see all these new and uh hyped up designs and all these uh, companies say that these are the things that we need. But I don't know, I kind of disagree with that. Yeah. yeah, because you know sometimes there's value in the old. Yeah, and you know the old charm. You know, uh, Penang still has got a little bit of it, but um, a lot, I think. You think? Yeah. So my my shop is actually in an old uh, pre-war house. Okay. Yeah. So uh, of course, like you know, recently, uh, if you read uh, about the news, there's huge storm there, kan? Mm-hmm. So uh, roof leaking and all that. So You know these old houses; they actually take a lot of maintenance. True, true, and true. can be expensive. Yeah, yeah. So itulah. Because sometimes the owners, they, you know, you versus restore old place to live in a new, spanking new, uh, condo with you know facilities and all that. You know, people choose that direction. Is it? Hmm. So then they abandon the, the the old houses. Yeah. But then, uh, you know Singapore, a lot of Singaporeans buy up the the old houses because they see value in it. Because you know Singapore is evolving very fast, hmm. and they realize that oh, if we don't capture and take back the old, uh, we will lose it completely. So they've been buying a lot of property up in 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 Penang as well. Uh. Which is not necessarily good for us locals because it really pushes up the price of property. Oh yeah, true, mm, mm. true, true. Yeah, so true. Yeah, that's that's the pros and cons lah of development versus the old world. <laughs> What to do? Let me stop you there. Yeah, I forgot to okay. do the intro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me being so clever. Okay. Uh, what's up? You are with the Sip Sip Show, and we're doing a, a special recording on site. If you see the back background, sangat sangat cantik, and we're doing uh, we're supporting R O R two zero two four, organized by a good friend Anton Ngui, uh, and we are here in the rainforest trees where R D C. Apa sura R D C? Rainforest Discovery Discovery Center. Oh my God. Oh, ada biawak. Ya bagus ah, sihat. Uh, anyway, uh, the organizers invited this fine um, wine of a man, uh, Jonathan Yun. And at first, I was like, "Huh, jewelry maker?" Like, and we're talking about environment, and we're talking about. Uh, And uh, we sorry we're recording. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, when when you express your love for this old architectural f- buildings feel i i i now understand like oh that's why he's here um and when i see your design mm-hmm. i was i was running through mm-hmm. i i feel like there's a there's a connection of uh i want to say old malaysia mm. but th- that's not really the word a lot of nostalgic kind of elements in mm. your work mm. is, is that what you is that what you're doing yes because it's it's really it resonates in the design yes um Yeah. Hi. Hello Jonathan a, Yun. Hello. <laughs> Egan. I'm very happy to be here and uh, maybe I share a little bit about yeah, what yeah, I yeah, do yeah, 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 yeah. so that you can understand a little bit better. Uh well, I I graduated uh as a jewelry uh designer. Oh. Uh some time back ago and I realized that um this is my passion. Hmm. You know? and i want to tie it with my other passions in my life okay at that time i was actually very uh into diving oh yeah every uh, long weekend i would be off diving so i told myself you know very surely you know being um experiencing all the the underwater world i want to incorporate that into my work okay so i uh, that is my uh second love you know diving mm. so i i started my first uh, collection based on underwater series so based on coral sea life and all that so it was very successful uh and then uh somehow somebody came and and stole the design what yeah yeah uh You know I was I was a newbie in the market so mm. I I didn't know much about it so but this person said that they would like to market my work because they saw value in it so I said okay sure you know but uh, I I told them that if you are going to market it for me then uh, please market it that I'm the maker and that it comes from me mm. Well obviously they did not <laughs> they they start telling people that it is their design and uh Yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. So I well, to cut the sh- story short, I ended the relationship with them. Uh but I was very crushed at that time, you know. Yeah. Because this is really my my passion, my life's work, you know. Yeah. That I've developed and then somebody just came and then stole it away. Uh but I told myself, no, I will not look at the negative side. Hmm. I will move on, you know. So after that, I develop another series that is based on my third love which is nature which is uh botanical plants oh yes and hence you see that the second collection is up and uh, a lot of my work is dedicated towards uh botanical plants hmm. uh leaves flowers uh seeds you know and fruits and all that uh and i wanted it to be very localized very Malaysian hmm. in flavor, you know. So sometimes I even have spices featured in my work, you know. Gee, okay. Yeah. So that was my second uh, series that I I uh, I made, and after that I told myself I should actually embrace my own heritage. Okay, hmm. so I am actually Peranakan. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Baba Nonya in Penang, you know, hmm. right? Yeah. So. I dig deep into my culture and I realized that actually it is actually a dying culture. And huh. if there's nothing done to preserve it, then it will slowly fade away, you know. Uh, at that point of time there were a, a handful of craftsmen that's able to make the nonya jewelry. Uh that was like maybe 15 years ago. Hmm. Today I think there's maybe two left. I was hoping it was going to get more. No. Oh so, my god. Okay. Um so I told myself, okay, this is my last ditch effort to preserve a culture that I'm from. Hmm. So I started a collection that is based on my culture. So as you can see, uh it all comes together. So right now my brand is basically uh designing and developing uh 
and inspired from nature and culture. Yeah. So I probably am the only Malaysian that actually does this. And two of these elements are literally dying. Yes. And if we don't preserve them, uh, they will just go away from us. Which is why I am so passionate about joining ROR. Yeah, because they, they, they have the same, uh, you know, mindset with me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been doing this? Uh, my work? Jewelry making? Yeah. Uh, coming to 18 years. Wow. Yeah. So it's a long time. Do you collaborate with other companies or, or individuals? Uh, right now, no. But uh, in between the 18 years, as I remember when I, I started very new, the collaboration didn't go well because mm. they stole my design. And along the way, there was some collapse as well, but uh, also didn't end well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Mm. So, I guess you're trained to work solo. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm trained to work solo, but oh, the by thing is that yeah. sometimes to find somebody who has the same uh, uh, setup as you. Well, actually, I'm not asking a lot. I'm just asking for honesty. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> yeah, it's just that sometimes you meet people that are not so honest mm. yeah. ah sayang ah. Mm. and and this this is a business that is very brutal when it comes to um, budget economy correct money correct. Kan? I mean it's it's these are expensive things yes how's your your I mean your products how what was the price range okay so currently my price ranged from uh, 198 okay right up to maybe uh, 15,000 yeah so wow. it's quite a wide uh, uh, margin because I also make the items in gold as well mm. gold and uh, if there's requests for diamonds and precious stones I will incorporate it inside my design wow. as well yeah so yeah um, I, I don't want you to name drop but uh, who's like uh, a good uh, patron to your work? My good patrons are the ones that actually encourage me. Okay, um, you know, I'm very blessed because during COVID, it hit us very badly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, as the borders were closed and also we, we couldn't run a business because of MCO and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and then... Uh, okay, my, my shop is actually situated in... Uh, in the heritage area so a lot of tourists go by mm. now if when they close the borders during covid uh, and the tourists couldn't get in it's really like ghost town yeah so okay. plus the fact that we have to close down for mco so it was very badly hit but then you know uh, you were asking me about you know uh what is my ideal customers i thank thank god that i have a, a bunch of really very good customers you know, during COVID, they will, they will, uh, they will text me and say that, uh, okay, I'm going to order something from you. I know mm -hmm. it's COVID. I will not be able to get it now, but uh, let me send you the money first. It's so nice. Yep. So they send me money, and then they said that, okay, when COVID is over, we'll come and pick up the things that we want wanted. You have workers? Yes, I do. Yeah. Do you work in a big team? So, uh, I have a small little workshop of uh, six craftsmen mm. with me. So, we uh, basically the design comes from me alone. And then I will uh, convey to my craftsmen and discuss with them how we're going to uh, embark on this project. And they will actualize it for me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, we are in ROR 2024 and the sound check is starting so it's gonna be noisy but we'll we'll try to record and see what data we can collect by this sessions so Jonathan yes I'm good. sure you were saying you had uh, a, a small team of six people mm -hmm, that's right so how did you take care of them during COVID I mean yes you got uh, patrons mm -hmm. that that loves your work but I'm, I'm sure it was hard. 
Yes, so I uh, I still retain them during COVID because I I uh, I you know people live people need to eat also yeah. yeah my staff need to eat even though they are not allowed to come to work or to do any work for me but uh, I still pay them the salary mm. and I I have no heart to let them go because they have been with me during the good times and these are. I assume they are very good craftsmen. That's la. right. That's right. So that's why I mean, it's hard to let go. Ayo. Yes. Plus the fact is that I train them up hmm. from zero, and they True. know what I want. Uh, it's not so easy to find the same hmm. workers again. Yeah. So I just have to bite the bullet and dig deep into my savings. Ayo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we made it through. Thank now post COVID. Hmm. And. Is, is this a, a better time for you or is this like back to zero kind of uh, challenge? Okay. Um, there are a lot of challenges after COVID. Mm-hmm. So although uh, the tourists are back, but we face a different kind of challenge. Mm. Uh, first of all, uh, at that time, uh, the Mauritian ringgit the mm. RM dropped a lot. Oh. Okay, so a lot of my purchases are uh how to say? They are sold in US do- dollar. Oh, okay. So, uh, everything goes up. Even 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 my uh, uh powder for uh washing the jewelry and all that. All this uh equipments and uh tools and uh Materials that we need for for making mm. jewelry, the the prices just rose tremendously, about nearly hundred percent. So this is because of logistics. Yeah, and also, uh, silver and gold price. You know, remember that time mm. really jump quite a big jump. Oh. Yeah. So which means that actually, uh, now we are dealing with higher prices, mm. and people just got out of COVID, so they, they. You know, some of them lost their jobs and all that. So and some uh, holding tight, you know, tighten their belts. And even some, the food cost has risen up so much that uh, it's no longer you know they don't have the uh, disposable income as much as they used to have. Mm. So we face that a lot, and so our sales actually dropped to pre-COVID. You know, oh. even after the borders are open. <coughs> Did uh, did this experience affected your designing process? No, no. Even during COVID itself, I I made sure I continue to come up with new designs. Mm. And even that year after COVID, 22, 23, uh, I'm still making up new designs. Mm. Although I'm not sure who is going to buy them, but uh, I feel that it's very important that we just keep going yeah and not stay stagnant hmm. yeah so uh, things are getting better now this year uh, almost back to normal yeah and also our money has risen up quite a bit <laughs> yeah but I don't know whether that will actually <coughs> have any advantage for us yet but uh, well it's better than nothing hmm. yep. wow uh, do you give your uh, team members the the freedom to design? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, all the designs are done by myself. Oh, yeah. So um, <coughs> the reason being is that okay, uh, my brand is known as Jonathan Yoon Jewelry, so it carries my own namesake. Oh, uh, and. It's my point of view, which means uh, I do all the design, okay. But then I have a discussion with them and I convey uh, to them my intentions for this design, hmm. and then uh, I try not to micromanage them and leave them to to develop it uh, after the initial uh, uh, brief. Uh, yeah. So they do have a, a a little bit of freedom to exercise, uh, but 
following and uh, of course I will also monitor hmm. the the progress as we go on. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you have to supervise. Yep. Um, are they are they any trainings that is jewelry related that you're doing? I mean, I I don't know. I I see that we artists when we get to the to a point where we know a lot of things, we experience a lot of things. Uh, do you, do you see you? Passing down knowledge to people. Uh, yeah, actually, that is uh one of the purpose that I would like to do that, hmm. and I would actually extend this to your listeners. Oh, okay, for this podcast, uh, I'm actually looking for a uh, apprentice. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, I'm. I'm not young anymore. <laughs> okay, so uh, I realize young at heart, <laughs> young at heart, but. I realize that okay, okay. I tell you what, okay, my eyesight is not as good as before. Hmm. Okay, uh, last time you know it is uh, for us. It's the eyesight is very important. Betul. Okay, because uh, we work with our eyes, hmm. and most of all, sometimes I choose gemstone based on what I see. Ah. Okay, so um, last time I could spot a flaw. In a gemstone, very easily. Now I need help, mm. uh, as in spectacles. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is that uh, I'm getting on with age, so I know one day I will not be able to continue what I do, and I would definitely like to actually pass this on to somebody who is as passionate as I am. Yeah. So I'm looking for an apprentice. In these eighteen years, have you met anyone close to? You? No. Wow, <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> well, well, I have to say that I. Uh, it's not because I have. Uh, there's nobody that's close to me, but uh, I wasn't mm. looking at one because I was busy basically uh. building the business. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that uh, the business is stable, I'm looking for the next phase, which is to actually look for somebody that I can mentor. Mm. You know, and to. Uh, start something with the person, and hope hopefully the person also can take his or her own directions. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Do you see this like as uh, a new th- a, a new beginning, or do you see this as an ending? You training um, someone. You know, I I see it as a book. You know, with different chapters. Mm. Oh, okay. So, okay, maybe this chapter is setakat ini, <laughs> mm. and then we just begin on a new chapter. Yeah. So. That's very positive. Yeah. yeah. So the story goes on. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um. So you're in Sabah now. Yeah. Senakan now. How long mm-hmm. are you gonna be here? I will be here until Tuesday. That's not long. No, it's not. Well, I've got work, uh, <laughs> so uh, I've got to go back to work, uh, and I'm actually working on a new. Uh, I mean, not not new, but I'm working on a, a event mm. next month. Oh. So I have to prepare for that. Yeah, is this training related? Oh no no no, uh, it's a uh, exhibition and oh, sales okay, related. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, uh, is a new series coming out? Yes. Many It's new exciting. designs as well. Yeah, we'll we'll keep uh, everyone posted, lah. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So, how have you find Sanakan lately? I mean, recently, have you been here before? I have been here before, but only for the ROR. That is probably in the third ROR, uh, and. Uh, unfortunately, I have not been able to see much of Sandakan because basically it's to attend the mm. the uh, festival, uh. and then after that at night uh, we go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I th- I think you need to have like a residency I come back here program. For a holiday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You need to come oh, here, sure. relax. Yes. Then you'll see a different side of Sandakan. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Then you'll see why I said Sandakan is like the old. Georgetown. Yes, yes. Yeah. I have to explore that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
we don't have much time. Okay. Um, I wish we had a lot more time together. This, this is, I, I always feel like jewelry is something that is very limited when it comes to design. Mm. But when you explain your inspiration from nature, nature is endless. Correct. And and when you say diving, the sea is endless. Correct. And then I I guess because in in my head when you you see uh, when an, anyone says jewelry, it's always like geometry. It's um, uh, all these. I guess I I grew up with with my mother's taste in jewelry. I I, mm. I see what she, she wears. wears. I see what she is. Uh, what what we can afford, yes. and I was like, uh, these things are boring, like they they need to be like something else. But when I see your design online, I'm like, huh, you can go to this parts of design, you can go to that part, mm-hmm. and I didn't realize that there's so many things you can document mm. in jewelry about nature, mm. and I guess nowadays we have more and more technology that can. Create shapes that are, I want to say weird, weird shapes, or maybe uh, n- natural shapes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's beginning to sink into me that uh, not just jewelers can can create designs that is, um, I mean yes, you you need some kind of a, a professional training, mm. but. Now with whatever technology that is out there, we can create something from our imagination, ma. Yep. Yeah. Like now, I'm starting to have a different kind of eyes towards mm. jewelry. Mm. Um, I don't know, but I I wish you all the best for Thank looking you so for much, your Egan. training, yes. for your apprentice. Yes. That that. How many tri- apprentices are you looking for? Uh, I think I can comfortably uh, need two. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Lucky, lucky people. Yes. Um. Any any parting words you wanna you wanna share before we wrap up? Before we end, okay. So maybe just to uh, share uh, my perspective of nature. You know, you look everywhere, every corner, you will see nature. Mm-hmm. And if you look hard enough, you will see designs there that we can really appreciate. You know, hmm. so uh, let's work together to preserve our world, our nature, and not abandon them and let them be destroyed. Because then, when they are destroyed, they are gone. We no longer have this. True. Yeah. Jonathan, thank you for this. Thank you, Egan. I really for having me. I really learned a lot from you. You're most welcome. And kind of worried, juga, mm. because at at one point of a time, you need to pass down your throne, your yes. experiences. I know it's nerve wracking for you, mm. because one last question: mm. How did you feel when your eyesight starts to have problems? Oh, I hate it, uh, because I, I, as you know, I'm a very visual person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love to see. <laughs> can you believe that? You know, I I I see. Uh, okay, you can say I'm, I'm the type that can actually see the difference in. Uh, okay, there's so many types of green. Mm. You know, we just call it green, but there's so many types of green, and I can actually see the difference of all the various I greens, and that is very important to me, and. I won't say that I l- I'm losing my sight. It's just that I have this uh, age-related uh, mm. eye thingy that I cannot see as clearly as I used to see. So uh, uh, when when that happened, you know, I need reading glasses and all that. Uh, yeah. it's quite a bummer. Yeah. <sighs> well, it goes. But with you're the still designing. Territory. Yeah, because uh, well, it's not gonna stop me. <laughs> mm. I just wear. More thicker glasses. That's all. Yeah, I guess that's a very good take-home message. No matter what your obstacles are, yeah, you just keep on. You just overcome. You just evolve, and yeah, go on. 
Ya, yeah, betul. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay. Habis, habis question. Right. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you, Igor. I I wish you all the best. All right. Thank you so and, much. And uh, this has been a sip sip show for R O R two zero two four. Stay tuned for the next episode. Nama saya Igen. Amat sini ate jaga baby. So yeah. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. All right, Igen.